Release the Kraken. All right, fellow game designers, we are back and flying through these, uh, flying through these UVs here. Let's go ahead and select the head. So I'm going to go up to the head here. I'm going to grab the hair. You can see the hair is atrocious. We're going to move that off. I think it's set to zero. It is. Just going to go pull that off. Now, a lot of times you really don't even need the back of the head. So most games that they have a hair cap, they don't have the, the back of the head. You just have the face to the ears, and then the hair kind of covers this because you usually don't have any internal faces. But if you want to change up hairstyles and having, having a bald head as an option is fine. In our case, we do. We have the head, and we want to unfold the head. Now, the head has been cut nicely for us already. We just need to do the back of the head, and we might want to take the ears off as well. So go to edge mode. I'm going to take uh, the back edge here. I'm just going to hold shift. I'm going to go all the way through. I don't want to double click because I don't want to take the whole body. But I could do this. I could double click it and then um, shift uh, select and cut it. So I think I'll do that. Um, no, nah, that's fine. That's, that's extra work. I'm just going to go up to the top of the head. I'm only a few more clicks away. Go up to here, and then I'm going to go up to the edge of the hairline. So there, and we have the forehead, and then the hair kind of covers the rest of this. So that's all well and good. I'm going to go ahead and unfold and see what I get. So let's do a cut. And then UVs, double click it, and then unfold. And there is our head unfolded. And the ears actually came out okay. Not the best ears in the world, but they came out okay. Now, if you want to have more control over how you paint these ears, or if you can't quite tell what you're looking at, then by all means cut the ears off and unfold them. But for me, actually, I think that's not bad. This would be the inner ear. Yeah. As long as you can identify it. So like inner ear and then... We have the upper corner. But since the ears came out so easy, let's go ahead and do the hair. Go ahead and grab that. Same deal, we're going to do a projection. So let's go up to uh, UV, come down to our planar. The front of this is in Z, so I'll hit Z and then hit project. It really doesn't matter which direction you project it from just so long as you can uh, do your projection and get something to work with. So there's that. And this is mostly ready. All I gotta do is split it. So if I were to unfold this, UVs, double click it, hit unfold, I would get this. And this is almost workable. The problem is these little, hang little hanging pieces, they've been kind of unfolded again, kind of like a sock. You can see this is spiraled all the way in, and these have spiraled on themselves. So those I don't want hanging off like that. So let's go ahead and split the tail. So right here, I'm going to go ahead and click down through the end of the tail. That's probably good enough. And I'll go ahead and cut it. I'll unfold again to see what I get. And that's paintable. Like I can I can definitely see that's the ponytail. I can see where the ribbons are supposed to be, and I can paint that. So let's go ahead and adjust the little danglies in the front. So there's a little dangly in the front. Uh what's a good spot for these? I think I'm gonna take the seam right here. So these little seams here. And I'm going to split this little corner as well. Now one thing I want to kind of drive home is there's no real magic to doing UVs. It's just unfolding it, pretending you're unfolding a piece of clothing. You know, you're, you're cutting along a certain edge and kind of controlling where the edges go. Um, and then you're going to end up painting on that at some point. The edges that I'm cutting, I've done this, you know, enough. I kind of have a, 
a guide in my head as I'm planning where things are kind of going because I'm, I'm picturing how this is going to unfold in my in my little brain right here. But the more you do it, the faster that's going to come. And if if you're not sure, just guess. You know, the worst case scenario is you just re-UV it. It's not that not the end of the world. Anyway, I hit cut, and then let's go ahead and select that, unfold, and there's my little dangly pieces in the front, so I know where those are at. It looks like a little, like a catfish or something, you know, from Mario, those little fishes that like jump, and they're like, wee. that's kind of like that, right? So that's cool. Uh, this is going to be uh, in the zero one space, so go ahead and select that. Arrange this however you like, if you want to rotate it, like if your brain makes more sense this way or that way, you know, whatever. I'm going to just go ahead and do it this way. And then I'm going to hit uh, my scale tool and just scale this so that it fits right in here. And you want to be inside the lines. So this should be inside 0 to 1 and then 0 oops, to 1. So this is what they call the 0, 1 coordinate space. So if we ever say that, that's just where it has to be. And there are certain programs that utilize the other spaces, but we're not going to do that here. We'll keep it simple. Okay. And I think we have enough time to do the hoodie. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Pretty simple. Most of the stuff we don't even need to keep. Um, go ahead and hit F to frame up on that. The natural seams are going to be the ones that are underneath here. Let's do our projection. I'm going to hit planar again. It stores the last thing that we did, so I don't really have to open options a second time or a third time. So I just hit planar. So there, 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 there. I'll grab that one. And I'll grab this one. I'll hit um, cut. And then grab my UVs. I'll do my unfold. figure out where my top is. I think the top is here, but if I'm wrong, hey, top is top. Cool. Now I'll scale this into the zero one space. Now you can see I have uh, more space diagonally. So if I rotate this like so, and then scale it to fit the diagonal, that'll work as well. You just don't want to be outside the line there. So I'll select it, make sure that I'm inside the lines here. And that's good. And it's okay for these to have their own UV sets because they're different objects. So we can paint this by itself, paint that by itself. And then this will be one object. Okay. We want to lay this out so it's easy to work with. So let's organize. I'm going to take the arms, move them over here. Take the head. The head is the thing we're going to see the most. So that's the thing we're going to prioritize. And the way this works is we only have so much space and the bigger something is the more UV space we're reserving so the head is the thing we're gonna see the most so I'm gonna give it a little bit of priority it's not gonna share any textures with the body so it's okay I can go ahead and adjust this I'm just gonna give it a little bit more space than the rest of the body and in some cases you might actually do the entire head by itself as a separate texture. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple and just kind of have it a little bit bigger. Now the torso and the rest of the body can be about the same size. We don't really want to stretch anything out, so I'll put the torso here. Um, and I'll get these out of the way. These are our shoes. Torso. Um, these don't have to go in any particular order. You can lay these out however you like. Is this the top of the belt? That's the top of the shirt. Bottom of the shirt. Let's see what this is. Top of the belt. Okay so long as I know where top is.
Let's see, for the shoes, just because I seem to have space here for the shoes, I'm going to put these here. Now when it comes to like doing, like lining these up, because we have like two shoes or, you know, two hands or whatever, things that are going to look identical, you can occupy the same uh, UV color space. In our case, we're not going to do that, but you can. Let's say if you're in like a studio and you want to save time and you don't want to paint two hands um, or you don't want to paint two different shoes because they're going to be the same or they're going to look identical, then by all means you can occupy the same color space. You just don't want to occupy the same uh, shadow space or light map space. But for this, we're going to be okay. Make sure I have the correct feet here. This one goes with that one. And this only matters in the event that I have to draw to it. And I will rotate this. In a way that makes sense for my brain. Which part is the front? That's the back. That's the front. Because I know this is the front of the boot, I'm going to line this one up so that it's consistent. Again, you want to pretend that you're doing this for somebody else. So. And by making these kind of straight, it's easier to paint on. Because it's easier to paint you know, this way than it is to paint um, this curve. Back of the foot, front of the foot. And then when it comes to like putting these next to each other, you want to have enough space to avoid like color bleed or any kind of shadow bleed that you might get. So like if I get this real close to here, what might happen is these UVs, because it's not a perfect system, they might grab color from like this object. So if you give them enough space in between so that they can kind of reach out but not share the color, uh, you're better off. So just one of those things to think about. All right, sleeves, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna line them up like so. One sleeve, two sleeves. I'm gonna do opposite here. That way they fit better on the grid. Hands, top of the hands, should be the top of the hands. And then bottoms should be bottoms. Okay. And take this one here and this one there. And again, just to make it simple on myself, these belong to this sleeve. These belong to this sleeve. And then my pants can go up here. And then this one, I'll just kind of rotate. Oh, I'm outside the grid there. So, all right, grab these, move them in. Good enough, good enough. And those are far enough apart, I think. Okay, so the body's all laid out. The hairs are done. And then we didn't do the eyes. Let's just do those real quick. I'll grab the eye. And the eyes are already laid out, but they actually did this as a spherical, where they kind of cut it in a weird way. 
I find it very difficult to paint these. So what I'm going to do is reproject. So let's grab the object. You can see it's actually cut sideways along the eye, and all the and the pupil is broken up at these little triangles. So I'm going to do my planer from the front. So planer, and then let me move this eye out so that I can see what I'm doing. You can do this however you like. But what I'm going to do, well, I have to frame up there. Well, that didn't help any. Let's try that again. Object mode, select it, F, there we go. So I could, I could do a top and bottom. You really don't even need the back of the eye. You could just cut that off, but we're going to keep it for now. And actually, I think what I'll do is this. I'm going to select this edge, hold shift, double click, and then select this one, hold shift, double click, grab that one, double click it, X one, double click it, so I get this cross shape. I'm going to go to a side view. Ah, watch out there. And from my side view, I'm going to hold control, and I'm going to go across the eye about halfway or so. And then I will do my cut, and then my unfold. So I'm going to get sort of like a little star. Where are you? Unfold. And then this section is which part? Top part. So I have this little bitty starfish of an eye. It'll fit the most this way. Right, so the center of the eye is where the pupil goes, and I can do whatever else. And we're not really going to see the back of the eye as much, so having these seams here won't be that terrible. Now I'm going to do the other eye. But what we can do, let's go to our view here, we can select this eye, I can hold shift, select the other eye. Okay, come up to mesh, come down to transfer attributes, hit the options. And then in here, default settings are fine. We're just going to choose component and then hit apply. And when we hit apply, you'll see that the UVs share. So we only have to do it once. And then we'll clear the history on that. So edit, delete by type, history. That way, if we make any changes, it doesn't freak the other eye out. And then with that, move that into position, back to zero. I'd say this character is ready to go and be UV'd and uh, textured in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and save it here, and then in the next one, we'll export everything and start painting him. Okay? And I will see you then.